Hey guys, I thought about sharing my Ableton file that I was working on with the Mantra plugin and my battery. And also I included now my MIDI controller, which I will explain how to use it. It's very easy. This one is of DJ Tech Tools. I'm going to show you there on the camera. Um, it has MIDI knobs, so you can assign them to your projects or in your project in Ableton to any parameter. Um, on the side, you have like uh, some other buttons here, so you can move between banks, which for me is re really handy. Uh, you can assign colors to each knob, so they correspond with your Ableton files um, or track lanes. And then, yeah, you can also change if you see right here of this knob, you see that it is changing with the dots, uh, the lights of the dots, but you can also change that, uh, how that moves. So yeah, there are some preferences you can uh, fine tune and yeah, customize uh, how you like it. So yeah, let's go to my Ableton project. So over here, you see the overview of Ableton, it's the session view. So I mostly uh, capture all my clips and create a library from that. And then I will work in arrangement view. So it's super different than how I work uh, if I work, uh, if I jam or something. So if I press Command M in my Ableton, uh, let's just first go to preferences. Uh, let's go here. You can also just press command. Uh, I don't know what the name is. <laughs> it's like a comma in Dutch. Um, but here you see it's popping up in your preferences. You go to your MIDI tab and MIDI fighter twister. That's the one we want. And then you can check the track sync and remote. Um, so we both, we all need it basically. Uh, track maybe not really, uh, sync not really, but yeah, I think it's fine for now. So, Let's press command M in our file here. On the left side, you see already all the parameters that are assigned to my MIDI controller or the other way around. Um, and let me show you how that works. So if I go to my first, uh, my second track and I click on it, I'm gonna remove this for now, but I click on it on the volume and I turn the button uh, the knob and you see it on the left side it's popping up popping up in here um, and you can change the midi note if you want in the software from dj tech tools um, and yeah so the name track volume you see the path and you see also minimum and maximum decibel so um, i always like to put this on zero because i don't want the volume that the volume goes uh, louder than zero db um, yeah, and that's it. So I press command M again and you can see here right now um, everything what I've done. So assigned the second track. So if you see, if I move it, you see that the arrow will move as well. And it doesn't uh, exceed above the zero dB. So that's nice if you have a live performance. For me, that's really easy then to work like that. Um, so let me show you quickly what I've done here. So I'm building a sort of drum and bass kind of breakbeat track. And yeah, let me show you what I've done so far.